Okay guys, here's uh, day two of me and my uh, full detail job or whatever. I don't know, still, got, still have a lot of stuff to do. But I just want to show you, I don't know if this will pick up, show you the grime that I was talking about that sticks to your wheels. Hmm, not seeing any. I saw some while I was at the parts store. Oh, there you go. All these little, like, black specks. I mean, just doing that and you can see it just little tiny black specks that kind of look like the carbon buildup that you get inside your mufflers I don't know if this is if you can pick it up but there's like one right there just this little tiny black dot of stuff and there's several of them in there I don't know maybe Maybe this one that's in the sunlight. Well, this one here doesn't seem to have any of it, but they're dusty even though I got them all cleaned yesterday. But, uh, whew, but oh yeah, here you go. This is it. It's like this stuff cakes on. Now, I don't know if you can see back in here, uh, right there. Flip the light on. There you go. Right there. This weird, like, black rock type stuff. That's, uh, that was what was on my wheels. And you can see some of it sticking back. I don't know what it is, but it just comes right off. But over time, it forms like clumps on your wheels. Not sure if that's a brake dust, but I got it all off, so just gotta clean them up. Uh, my brakes are starting to squeak again. I don't know what the lifespan is on uh, ceramic pads, but it hasn't been, I wanna say maybe, maybe it's been six months that I have replaced them. Uh, there's ceramic pads on the back and ceramics on the front. The fronts are GT rotors with GT calipers because the uh, GT rotors are bigger than the V6 ones. So I have a V8 in the front and then V6 in the back, which makes it hard to get a matching set because the, the V6 rear rotors are also smaller than the uh, V8's uh, rear rotors. But what I've been doing is I've been getting under here. I don't know if my supplies is yeah still under there so I'll just uh, slip under here and show you what I've been doing all right so so you can tell there's spots that I haven't gotten to but I've been trying to polish up all of this plastic and it seems to be drying and right there you can see that I polished this and this with that metal polish compared to this side that's uh, not polished. And I've been trying to polish this stuff here too. Which you can't really see, but there you go. You can see where it's clean and where it's uh, dirty. You can see that one spot compared to, compared to like that. So, look, got something in my mouth. So I'm trying to... Mm. Sorry about that. Got some stuff in my mouth from falling off. Uh, so I'm pretty like... Uh, I don't know. Anal when it comes to all my cleaning that I do, but... As you can tell, you know, there is hardly any rust on my car, but I do baby my car a lot too, so, you know, it's a little bit right up there on the edge of that, but I think that might be, you know, normal wear and tear for cars, but as you can see, there's like no major, like, uh, rusting going on anywhere in here 
at least from what I'm able to see right now. But that is what I am doing today. Just trying to get all of this, all of this stuff cleaned up. Everything polished. If I had ramps, it would be easier. I wish I could get this uh, metal, whatever thing that is. It's all rusted. Get it all polished up. But even polishing these uh, stock pipes, I mean, it doesn't look, doesn't really look any better. Or at least it looks cleaner than, you know, this and that. My new GT axle wax that I bought off Craigslist have some rust going on right there. And a little welding bit. But, so, so that's what I'm doing, and then let's check out the front here. Got to redo the interior just because, I mean, it's like not enough time. And I haven't done the engine in about, oh, maybe three months or so. I don't know. Yeah, it could be about three months, but overall, it's uh, it's pretty clean. You know, this part right here is a little dirty. It's a little dusty. You know, not not too bad to where you know if I open it up and show it off. Uh, but uh, this stuff here has been like this since day one. I usually just take a um, what do you call it? One of those little computer aerosol can things and dust all of this stuff really well I thought that was rust but it's just the uh, the color of the uh, pin thing there but yeah just uh, stuff I was able to fit one of my HID ballasts in here in this little crevice type thing right over here and it's a uh, not a mini one it's a full size ballast but that one's been sitting there for like I don't know a year or so and haven't had any issues um everyone says to put these things where you know it won't melt anything but it's been sitting on that piece of plastic there for I don't know about a year as well still no melting issue that one's just uh Let's see, that one down there is just kind of dangling. If you can see it. This isn't exactly the best camera, but it just kind of hangs down there. Right there. But, that's about it. I mean, it's getting cold now, so I probably won't be able to do much. I think I'll just leave the underneath part for another day and come over here and focus on the engine now that it's cooled off all of the random stuff that I use for it I think my aerosol can is somewhere in here if not it's in the crate below this one but yep and I need to remove the grills down there and the front ones so that I can get in there just and I need to re-clean this up, which should be pretty easy. I mean, as you can see, it just comes right off. I waxed it. And so, here you go. You can see, like, where I, like, waxed it, like, a lot. So, just got to get that cleaned up. Still need to get a, a different intake here, but that's, you know later on down the line it's not like something that's I gotta have I mean I'm pretty happy with how it is with the uh, throttle controller and the few exhaust mods that I've done to the car and I thought about doing one of those uh, engine cleaning type things so that I could get stuff like all of that but I'm kind of afraid I mean I don't know what all can get wet in here I mean I don't think those can get wet so I'd probably have to Make sure all of that is sealed. Also, this uh, loose HID wire from 
I don't know what this is off of. I want to say it goes to the ballast. And from the ballast, it plugs into your stock connector that, you know, goes in there or something. I, I have no idea. I'll put it in the relay, and then this one was uh, left over. So, yep. Just a bunch of little intricate cleaning that I want to get done with. It's starting to get, like, really cold, so I think I might just wax the, uh, the outside again. Give her a nice little spray wax, and then, uh, call it a day, or just, you know, I might just put it off. It's getting really cold now. It was, like, 70 degrees a while ago, and now it's, uh, getting pretty cold. But these cars are extremely nice. Just do a few little mods and you've got uh, plenty of power. I mean, with this, uh, with my throttle controller and uh, some people say, you know, do, getting rid of the resonators and uh, what do you call it? And mid pipe don't do anything performance wise, but I felt that after I did those, after I did those mods, the car felt a lot uh, uh, more responsive, at least slightly. Compared to what it used to be. And I need to redust in here. Drove with the windows down a little bit. And it seems like uh, dust got into my my vents here. Got to get, get the vacuum cleaner again and clean all of that. But, I mean, overall the car is still in... Amazing condition. I ended up buying some of these at O'Reilly's thinking I'd, uh, you know, get to it. But instead I ended up watching cryptozoology videos and uh, other weird anomalies like uh, human eating trees that supposedly people have found. But, you know, there's no evidence or old records from like old explorers, German explorers going to the rainforest and stuff like that. Or tribes, you know, saying, or, or like in 2002 or something, Indian people found a, a tree that picked up a cow and started eating it, so they killed the tree. And, you know, supposedly there's like records of that stuff, but no one can ever find it because everyone somehow de destroys a tree. And it's like, hey, how about you just leave the tree? So I got distracted by that, and that's why I haven't uh, gotten... Gotten to all my major cleaning underneath the car. So, but overall that uh, spray is doing really well on the tires, as you can tell on the other side. Really like how clean she came out. So, just a few more things. If I could get some ramps, you know, I'd drive the front part and get under there and start cleaning and, you know, put some some sort of protectant on it. But I think I'll just go play some Xbox. And I also ate a whole pizza, too. So, I'm kind of full and really tired and had like four slices of French toast or garlic bread. And the total came out to six dollars and sixty six cents. So I mean awesome times.